Hey there, Mr. Wilford here. I just wanted to go through Chapter 5, Section 9, Operations with Complex Numbers. And uh, there are a bunch of different things going on here. Uh, we've talked about imaginary numbers before and complex numbers. Um, now we're going to actually uh, do some things with them, some different operations. Uh, add, subtract, multiply, divide them. Uh, first uh, thing, though, we're going to actually look at graphing a complex number. And to do that, we need to uh, kind of reinvent the coordinate system and uh, we plot these as almost points on what we call the complex plane. Um, and we kind of break it down into this. Uh, the the x-axis the that we normally think of as the x-axis is now the real axis. So all the real numbers will go on this axis. And then the um, one we used to call the y-axis is called the imaginary axis. So all imaginary numbers go on there. And so um, we have all these uh, different complex numbers that we can graph on here. Uh, the first one here is negative 3 plus 0i. That's really just a real number. The 0i doesn't really count. Uh, so that would go right here on the real axis, back 3. Um, negative 3i is an imaginary number, and so that's going to go down 3 on the imaginary axis. Um, example C here, 4 plus 3i, that just means we go over 4 on the real axis and up 3 on the imaginary axis. And there it is right there. It looks kind of like a point. And negative 2 plus 4i, we go back 2 on the real and up 4 on the imaginary, and that would be right there. Uh, so that's how you graph imaginary uh, complex numbers. Uh, another uh, thing that we're going to do is find the absolute value of a complex number, and basically you want to use this formula here. When you have the absolute value of a plus bi, you take the a and you square that. You take the b and you square that, and you take the sum of that, and the square root of that then is your uh, absolute value. And so you can see this example here. We have the absolute value of this complex number is 5. Um, you can kind of review and go through these examples as well. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, I hope. A um, couple of things then when adding and subtracting complex numbers, you want to um, treat the i as, uh, as a variable. And uh, you would add and subtract like terms. And um, so we're putting the real parts together and the imaginary parts together. Um, so take a look at these couple of examples here. We are looking at the real numbers, negative 2 and 3. Those are like terms. That gives us 1. And 4i minus 11i will give us a negative 7i. So that uh, is our answer there. With subtraction, you just have to make sure that you distribute the minus sign through. And then again, you add and subtract um, those like terms to get your final answer there. Uh, when you're multiplying complex numbers, um, really you use the distributive property or FOIL. Um, again, treat i like a variable. And if you ever see i squared, you should change that to a negative 1. Um, so you can see here in this example, we would distribute the 2i to these two terms. And we end up with an i squared, which we change to a negative 1. And a negative 10 times a negative 1 gives us a positive 10 plus 6i. Uh, these two b and c examples you're going to FOIL. You can read through that. Uh, again, the o and i and FOIL, you combine those two are like terms. And then we have a couple of i squareds here you need to change to a negative 1. And then this example here, again, uh, you can look that over and uh, um, treat i like a variable. i squared is negative 1. Finally, dividing um, complex numbers, what we want to do is rationalize the denominator, which means we want to get rid of all the imaginary numbers in the denominator. A uh, couple of ways to do that, depending upon what your fraction looks like. Um, here we're just multiplying it by the conjugate of the denominator, same thing here. And then uh, you multiply fractions across the top and across the bottom, and uh, that gets rid of the imaginary number in the denominator. If uh, you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks.